Well, I'm going to church just to listen to you pray, sir. This <laughs> is so marvelous. Thank you so much. Wow. Well, Pastor and audience, uh, International Academy of Flint, we just finished our, our school year, ended on June 13th. The kids are also already completed one full week of summer school. And uh, we're just booming along. We have four more to go. Our after school program, which is now uh, the summer school enrichment program, begins at uh, 12 o'clock and goes to 4.30 or 12.30, 4.30, one of the two, uh, starting Monday, June the 23rd. And those kids go on about 48 million field trips. They're all over the state and, of course, in the city. And we've got a couple of young men, one young man that's going to be part of that program, is he not? Oh, two? You got two of them going to be with us? Okay. Is that right, Sister Rose? Well, that's great if he can. Okay, Sister Rose, is <laughs> not, not quite sure, but are you in the, uh, in the, after, in the summer program, Laurent? I'll take the mic, up, buddy. Scoot up. Laurent, are you, are you in the, the Youth Quest program for the summer? Yeah. Oh, you've been in it after school? Yeah. You haven't been in that program? Oh, that's a good one. It goes to 6.30 every, every evening at our school, and we provide a lunch for kids as well, so that's a pretty neat deal. Maybe folks would want to send you. Uh, you could still sign up, Sister Rose, if you'll advise Mom about that. Okay. All right. And also, if you'd like to... Oh, I gave two tours yesterday. Gave two tours. Two families. They said, ooh-wee, we didn't know all this school had all that to offer. So we had a great time with them from 2 to 4 uh, yesterday afternoon. Uh, it was a, a great tour. They wouldn't leave. In fact, they were selected so much. <laughs> I had to flip the switch on them. <laughs> so please give us a call. 600 5,000, 600. 5,000. Call our school and just say, I heard I can get a tour, a free tour, and absolutely you can. We'd love to show you uh, what we offer. Our summer school goes uh, some kids in the morning, some in the afternoon. So if you come during the day, you'll get to see our kids in action. If you can't make it during the day, I'll help you in the evening and even on the weekends if you wish. So with that out of the way, uh, open enrollment, of course, and we do have the diagnostic test that we've talked about many times for you. And that's how we place your child in the right grade, because we will never place a child in a grade in which they will not succeed. So that's why we do the diagnostic test in math and English. Hope you'll give us a call, 600, 5,000. We got room right now, but we're starting to get serious with filling. So we do not want you to be on a waiting list if you don't need to be. So things are moving along real well. Our enrollment is up uh, past where we would thought it'd be for this time of year. So keep that in mind if you wish to enroll with us don't stand in line. Get there right now so that we can include you. We'd be honored to do so. And with those kinds of remarks, uh, Paul Herring, and good, I love your shoes, Paul. You like those, huh? Yeah, yeah they got... Uh, These ones God gave me. That's the, the five-toe uh, five shoes. And I they match they everything I own. Ladies and gentlemen, barefooted. <laughs> you must think you out of Tennessee. Huh? Don't tell anybody. No, okay, all right. Especially my wife. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, and we got a family that rode their bike to the rail uh, to the radio station today. Pastor rode their bikes. Wow! And uh, we'll put them on the can if we can in a minute. Uh, Sister Mary's and uh, uh, of course Marzell and uh, Marquise as well. And of course we have one of your parishioners with us, Pastor. That distinguished lady, whom I call Mrs. Thanksgiving Dinner, <laughs> she is just a blessing. And Pastor, I've talked far, far too much. Let's hear about. Uh, you're new to the area a little bit. Maybe the area is certainly new to Vermont Christian. So just talk a little bit on anything that you'd like to, Pastor, including that up-and-coming Daily Vacation Bible School. Amen. Okay. So, Pastor, the mic is yours. Take it, my friend. All right. And we're honored, sir, to have you here, and I'm very humbly say that. Yes, sir. Well, Brother Art, it's an honor to be here. Thank you for having me, and, and thank you. Um, I am new, the new installed pastor of Vermont Christian Church. And it's truly an honor to be here. Um, Vermont, we are doing some great and wonderful things. We're starting to partner with some of the um, area uh, outreach programs, such as Carriage Town, as well as Forgotten Man Ministries. And we're trying to, um, our Brother Art, work with you with regarding Thanksgiving and, and trying to be a, a helpful hand in this community, doing God's work in, in an ecumenical type of way. So no matter who you are, if you're trying to do things on God's program, we're here to help you. We're your brother and sister <coughs> in Christ. And we just thank you. We have an up-and-coming vacation Bible school. That will be the week of July 14th through the 18th. And we're going to partner with five area churches, the Unity 
uh, Christian Church in Swartz Creek will be hosting uh, this event, and we will be providing transportation oh. to this event. So, so it will it, not be at Vermont. It will not be at Vermont, but it will be at Unity Christian. And so, that is located where? In Swartz Creek. Okay, but where there? Can you guys? Oh, right off of Linden Road, Linden and Miller Road. I know where that's at. Of course. Yes, yes I know. In fact, I know where the church is. Amen. Yes, I had, I had, you, had to have you remind me, but I, now how did they get there? Now, if you would like transportation, please call the church at area code 810-235-1182. Now, we're going to have Pastor give that again, and I hate to interrupt the Pastor. But That's okay. So get grab a little pen or pencil, folks, and then Pastor will we'll ask him to give that number maybe in about a minute or so because you can have a free trip to Schwartz Creek. What better could you want in the summer? Plus all the biblical things that are going on there, the great learning, the great teaching, and a lot of fun for what age group, Pastor? It's for all age groups. We're going to have programs even for the toddlers up to those that are on walkers. Okay. So come one, come all, and get nourished in God's holy word. Okay, so Sister uh, Sister Rose can go on her walker and get there, right? <laughs> okay. She's got her thumb up in the air. You know, everybody, Sister Rose and I are constantly all day long kidding each other. So feel that. Don't feel I'm offending her. Wait till you hear what she tells you about me. <laughs> I wouldn't trade her for $80 million. <laughs> so thank you, Pastor. That's great. Now let's, uh, uh, the other, that's one church. How about the other four or so that's cooperating with you? Well, who are they? Correct. So we have uh, Unity Christian Church. We have Triumph the Temple of Praise. We have uh, our partners out in um, Flushing. So it's, it's Genesee County area <coughs> Disciples of Christ churches oh, I, are I all working now. together. Very good. I see. Yes. That's wonderful. That's co a collaboration by, uh, at the utmost. That's yes, great. yes. So do they have the biggest church then? Yes, yes they, they do. do. Well, and they have the facilities, the facilities to be able to accommodate yeah. where well, we're hoping to get several hundred people that will be able to come out and attend mm -hmm. this Vacation Bible School. It will be a monster, monster uh, co program. It begins when? It begins on and July time 14th. Of day too. Time of day through the July 18th, and it's from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Oh, this is evening. Yes, yes. Oh, I had this figured out for kids during the day, so I'm way off beat here. Yeah. So this will be evening okay. Bible, vacation Bible school. Now, have you got a, a you got a, your own church van? I certainly know that very well. That is all correct. The you give us. So that's how folks would, they could be picked up in their neighborhood and brought out? That is correct. And okay. since the churches are dispersed throughout Genesee County, will be that collection point. So just call the church at area code 810-235-1182. And a church of, excuse me, a Disciples of Christ Church near you will come out and pick you up and provide transportation well, to vacation. This is a great deal. This is wonderful. Yeah. Um, folks, if even if you now they don't have to be a member of Disciples they of Christ. Do not. I know no. that for sure, for sure. So this could be a collection point for anybody that would love some good Bible teaching, a lot of fun, kids will be there, family activities, great learning opportunities, songs, music, all sorts of stuff will occur every single night then. That is true. And matter of fact, we have a special guest, and it's a puppet that's going to be part of our, our ministry. So we're going to be displaying for the kids a puppet ministry as well. Do we know the puppet's name yet, sir? Uh, the puppet's <clears throat> name? No, no, I do not know it at this time. Okay. This is top secret, folks. Yes. Don't tell a soul <laughs> about this puppet ministry. This sounds exciting. Very good. Well, uh, if anybody knows the name of the puppet that's listening, call on in. Or is this really, really, really top secret? It's really top don't secret. Don't forget it. Don't don't call us. Okay. <laughs> Candace, there could be thousands of calls coming in. So wake up, girl. <clears throat> All right. Very good. We really have one. Yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> fast, Pastor. <laughs> Let's see. Is it for us? Well, we're gonna keep calling. Well. Candace was walking up over there. Paul, how you doing? They wanted to change your long distance service. <laughs> 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 Buy this vacuum cleaner. It's called. Okay. Well, Pastor, tell us a little about uh, Sister Rose. Now, I, I see what she does for us at our school. Can you mention what, what capacity she has at, at the church? Because oh we're my so goodness. very proud of her, sir. Sister Rosa is one of those type of individuals that does a little bit of everything at the church. So when the doors of the church are open, she's already there. She's one of those type of people that always ends up shutting the lights off at the end of the day. Okay. So she's one of those type of members that every pastor wants. Oh, one okay. of those ones that are dedicated to serving God. Well, she, Betty Walker on line one. That's important part. That is so marvelous. Pastor, that's great, and that's how we feel as well, too. Not with the turn off the lights and stuff, but the dedication to yes, children. Yes. The dedication to children. Okay. And I think we do have a call in, and it is... Betty Walker. Betty Walker has called in. Miss Walker, are you there, Betty Walker? Yes, I am. Oh, I'm so glad. 
Miss Walker, I to already told the audience, or pastor, one of the two, that I was out to Walker Farms this morning, and I told them, I didn't tell them what you were doing, but w w we've got a little feedback here. But what were you doing when I got there, Betty Walker? Well, I was getting strawberries ready. I wanted to let the people know that we are going to have strawberry picking season, and that we're going to have Yeah, and I, I saw you with your hands in them and cleaning them and making sure they only get top quality berries because I know you you had a, a, a another side area that you throw those that you went through every single berry, which is absolutely amazing. I'm so impressed with how you really make sure that your customers get top quality food. Uh, you've always been that way. You're very dedicated to really, really, really doing things well. Now, the strawberries we got, we, we understand that. Now, how about some other stuff going on? I know that's the most beautiful place in the world. It, Pastor, if heaven looks like Walker Farms, I'm definitely going to heaven because wow. that is so pretty out there. Miss Walker, what else you got? Well, we've got a giant sale on all of the hanging baskets and the pots and the shrubs and the trees and the perennials. It's really an excellent time for you to do your yard at a savings. So come out and take a look. Yes, Miss Walker. Um, now, you, what are your hours to be open, dear? We are um, 8 o'clock in the morning till 7, six days a week, and 8 to 4 on Sunday. Okay, very good. Um, and if they wanted to call you, Miss Walker, and had a question about a particular plant or tree or, or flower, uh, can you give us your phone number, folks? Uh, Betty, we're going to ask you to give it in about... 15 or 20 seconds. I want folks to grab their pen or pencil if they have a question about some kind of uh, product that you might have out there right now. It's a little early for most of the garden goods, isn't it, Miss Walker? Oh, yes. We had a late spring, so that's going to be the latter part of, uh, of you know, into July. Okay. Spring is okay. All right, Miss Walker, give us that 743 number. Okay, it's 743. Okay, 743-0260. Call Betty Walker right now if you have questions about, um, uh, of course, the strawberries naturally and the flowers and the trees and the shrubs that they have out there in abundance. It's just an absolutely gorgeous place. Miss Walker, anything else uh, that you'd like to share with us, dear? No, I believe that is all, and I do uh, thank you for calling me and noticing Walker Park. Well, you do so much for so many groups in, in Genesee County. The least, the utter least we can do is let you get on air and tell folks about your sales and, of course, those beautiful big red strawberries. I saw one strawberry must have weighed 43 pounds. Is, is that right? Well, not hardly, but that <laughs> well, I think folks know I was kidding a little about that one. Miss Walker, thank you, and uh, thank you for all that you do for all of Genesee County. I hope you get absolutely sold out. Is that a good thing to say? Yes, that's a good thing to say. Okay, my best to you, dear. Thank you, Miss Walker. Yes, ma'am. Bye bye. Okay. Pastor, she's just wonderful. Have you ever been out there? To walk? I have You're been not okay. Yes. Yeah, she's just. Uh, everybody in this room knows her, and most people in Genesee County know her. In fact, and probably Who? Well beyond. Uh, mm -hmm. Betty Schultz, her name is. Yeah, Paul, thanks a lot. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I wish Paul could film from outside. It would be such a blessing. <laughs> <laughs> He's my buddy. He just, you know, Pastor, he just coordinated with his board and others uh, the Juneteenth celebration. Okay. He was right in the midst of that. He does that every year. In fact, he does that 12 months a year. He has Juneteenth 12 months a year at his house. <laughs> okay. And he's just a great guy. Plus, recently, his son graduated from our school as a senior and is going to Central Michigan University on a, some scholarship money to Paul. Uh -huh. Okay, and then his other son graduated a year ago or two, year, two years? Year ago. Year ago, yeah. and mm -hmm. he's at MSU right now. As well. All right. So, so the Herring family, is uh, they, they do what they say. Yeah, how do I get off that robocall? Uh, robo. You don't get the robo. I guess you don't get the robocall from the school that tell you everything that's going on. 
No. I love it, man, but I don't need it anymore. Okay. Oh, 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 oh auto dial. Tell him, yeah, auto dial. <laughs> Robocop. I didn't know where he was going. You got to watch him. All right. <laughs> Robocop. <laughs> Rose, look at it. Yeah, Rose is no. She's, he's Paul's loony. Anyway, let, let's get. Rose, can I entice you to come on over and say hi? Come on. Could, could we please do that? Everybody wants to hear from you, this lady we're bragging about. Ron, that's your grandma. What do you think about her? Bring her chair around. She's good. She's good. <laughs> that's the bird of praise. She's good. <laughs> Laurent, while she's getting ready, what you been doing, and where are you going in about three weeks? Maybe to a camp? Yeah. Are you kind of excited? Yes. Yeah, I can sense your over and bubbling enthusiasm. <laughs> what else you got cooking this summer? You're Come in baseball, up, right? Up. Come on now. Tell us about baseball. Yes, there you go. I'm in player field. It's just my first year. Okay, and your position is? Shortstop. No kidding. Or third. Or third, infield then. All right, very good. Where do you play at, buddy? You know, After the, oh, okay, yeah, we had children. In fact, two of them are in this room. They were playing at Atherton last summer in the Burton, Bendel, um, uh, uh, softball, and baseball league. Mm -hmm. well, I don't know how many we have this year. I haven't been out there. I, I really need to go, I suppose, to see how many kids are involved. Well, would you, Laron, be kind enough to give uh, that microphone to that wonderful lady on your immediate right? <laughs> and uh, hi, Miss Rose. Uh, Hello, Paul, Art. can you get a picture of her just up close there so everybody knows? Miss <laughs> <laughs> Rose, thank you for helping me get past her here today. And you're you've been listening to all the bragging we're doing about you. And of course, you're a very sweet and tender lady. Um, anything you'd like to talk about regarding the church? Or are you going to be part of the, uh, the week of daily vacation Bible school? I might. I'm trying to be there a couple of days, but um, I'll be leaving to go on vacation that week. So it's going to be kind of hard for me, but um, I'd just like to invite everybody to Vermont Christian Church. And the address is? 1201 Lippincott Boulevard. Okay, and the south side of the city. Yeah, the south side. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's great. And of course, uh, you folks, uh, Vermont has been just absolutely great friends to us. Naturally, the Thanksgiving dinner the folks know all about, but you do so much more as well. Every food, every food, I think so, every food distribution we've ever had, Pastor, Mary Sanders is there, and so is Sister Rose, <laughs> and her children as well. And Sister Rose brings uh, some of her relatives and friends as well. And, oh, and we got to talk about somebody with a koala bear. Pastor, we got to yes, talk about that. Rose, can you talk about the koala bear? Have you seen the picture? Yes, I, I have it. Can you <laughs> do some email it or b mail it or yes, c mail it or I'll something? I'll send it to, to you. Me? Yes, okay. I will. Yes. Okay. He's send talking about my granddaughter, Tiana Jupri. She also attends International Academy of Flint. Well, she'll be in the 11th grade this year, and um, she has the opportunity to go to Australia with the people to people as an ambassador for the United States of America. Now, that, that's heavy duty, Pastor. It is. That's heavy duty. I don't think they send me anywhere to ambassadorate <laughs> anything. Uh, I know that wasn't free, and we did some, you know, she did some serious fundraising yes, she did, for months we. and months and months. This child is, A, a great student, a great kid, number two. And uh, then also she was very active with their family and all of its tentacles in the neighborhood to raise uh, you give me a rough idea of what that costs? $8,000. Oh, mercy. Oh, that's worth more than my house. I mean, <laughs> <okay>. <laughs> wow, that's so good. And yeah. the, tell me about this koala bear thing. Yeah, they, um, she's, she had a chance to uh, cuddle a koala bear, <coughs> and she's also had uh, an opportunity to uh, go searching at night for alligators. Uh, she did. Uh, she went out and tried to surf. She said she didn't quite get it, but she I'm did I'm kind of glad. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> right, I am. Uh, kind of glad. <laughs> but yeah. she's having the time of, of her life, oh, and she absolutely. said it's a real. She's really enjoying the experience that she's getting. How many from Michigan went, or can you give me some statistics? Yeah, there were on all together. It was nine students from Michigan, from Perry to Flushing to Flint. She was the only one from the Flint area. Flint area. To go. Okay. All right. And she is there with kids from other states then as well. How many yes, in mass would there um, be? Like 100 All together is 50 of them traveling 50, together. 50. Yes, okay. they're from Illinois and South Carolina and Michigan. Wow, that is such, oh, Pastor, what a great opportunity. That's a blessing. I'm telling you, it's just wonderful, just wonderful. And we should be returning when? Sister she'll be Rose? returning July 5th. She'll be okay. back. Mm -hmm. Well, I think we might have another program or so. Would you please bring her back so we can talk about that? I want folks in Flint to know what's possible when a family gets behind and a church gets behind to send you know somebody uh, to something of that magnitude. That's just wonderful. And Pastor, I'm going to just jump on that a little bit more. 
uh, coming July 15th. I think it's the 15th. We are sending three of our kids to Athens, Greece. We do that every year. We send them to Europe somewhere mm -hmm. based upon the, the Saba school system. There are 80 schools worldwide. They get together, select the site, and we have a school in Greece that they'll stay in. That'll be their dormitory that they stay in there. Last year they were in Germany and the year before that in England. And they used to go to the Middle East, but not anymore for obvious reasons because of the general turmoil there. We wouldn't dare have a problem. So we do that. We pay for that expense free. And that's our leaders that we've selected, three young people. And then they'll come back and talk about that, of course. In October, then we'll send about 30 to 40 kids to Traverse City, Great Bear Great Wolf, Wolf Great Lodge. Wolf Lodge, a big old water park. Mm -hmm. that, then that, uh, they'll work there on leadership training so that our, all of our kids in the school can be impacted by the trip that these kids take in, uh, in the, over, every summer we send three or four. So that's something yes. we're trying to do to make sure all our kids are on the same page. They're solidly uh, uh, grounded in leadership capabilities. And of course, when they go off to college, which we re require, Fagdi Pastor, do you know that will not graduate a student unless they've been accepted by a college before they graduate? That's amazing. Yeah, that's what we do. We've been doing that for just years. Our board is very uh, set on doing that, and we think that's uh, quite a little niche that we've established. So when our kids get to college, they have some leadership skills often well above their peers, and that's the kind of thing that we try to do. And of course, while we're doing that in our school, folks like the Vermont Christian people are building that other most valuable foundation, is their spiritual life, right, and their values and all of that as well. Rose, thank you so much. What a great treat. Would you treat, please, make Tiana come back? Yes, I, I hope we have, a, if we don't have another program or two, we'll get her on in uh, September to talk about the trip. And give me that koala bear picture, okay? I will. Maybe we could get a picture of her holding that and put that in the CPSA Courier magazine. Would that be possible, Sister Rose and Pastor? Yes, it would. We might want to do that. Okay, all right. Well, we don't... Hey, bicycle people that just come on. Will somebody want to talk? Rose or, or Marzell or um, uh, Marquise? What? One of the bicycle people want to come in. They pedaled their bike here today so they could see our radio program. Anybody want to say something? Rose, you did good. I know you're so shy, but you were Excellent pastor. Job. Wasn't she wonderful? Excellent. I think she should teach a lesson at school, at church. Okay? Uh oh. Got a bad look there. <laughs> well, uh, I love your hat there. Where'd you get that? Name and Marcus, Mary? Mm -hmm. Up under Marzell's bed. <laughs> <laughs> you pedaled here today. You guys got a bike and you're pedaling all over the city. Uh, tell us what you what are you gonna what, what are you gonna do in August? We're well, just by trying the way. to incorporate um, a healthy life and the push to get ready for the crown. So and, and you're gonna run the crown. You share this with us on the radio. Yeah. Running. Isn't that something, Pastor? <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm gonna be there and see you, see when she finishes. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be there. I didn't say I was running. Did I, Pastor? No, I didn't. Because I, I can't lie. <laughs> <laughs> We're we'll gonna cheer her on. I think uh, Candace will be there too, won't you, Candace? I'm not sure. Okay, all right. You probably will be. Sister <laughs> Rose, you come on down and watch Mary finish we'll the watch race. Finish. Okay, all right. Laurent, you going to enter the the little guy's race, the the the, the one. You mile didn't ask round? me. Oh, okay. I run the crim every year. Oh, do you really? From my front door to the street to watch him run by oh, my house. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's Paul again, folks. I'm trying to get him to film from outside the building. This does work. <laughs> we love Paul here and all his family friends. Well, Mary, this is great, and I know you've been pedaling a little while, Marquise and Marcel. The family, the family goes pedaling, and I think that's great as a family unit. And also, of course, you're building your leg strength and staying healthy and, and eating better, too, I guess, maybe a little bit, trying? Um, yeah, we're trying to incorporate that also, okay. but um, I, I wouldn't be able to make it without my boys. They, they push me so much. They, I usually don't go bike riding without them. Okay, well, that's for safety purposes. To, that's yeah, good. All of you stick together. I'm that's trying great. to um, one day, and I end up going a total of 15 miles. Um, that was, that was my Pastor, that's not bad. That's amazing. Yes. Pastor, I just had a brilliant idea. Suppose your church were to get in a physical fitness program like that, and they all go pedal it together somewhere, and they could do out, out, minist, out, minist, outreach ministry. <laughs> Rose is looking at something terrible. <laughs> but anyway, just a thought. Just, a, just a, perhaps a silly thought. But that's a great, Mary, that you do that sort of thing. Ron, let's give you the mic one more time, okay? 
and talk about Pastor, if you don't mind, and we'll have you close for us as well. Now, I have an unusual closing, but we'll we'll pray before I do my unusual closing. Three minutes. Close. All right, Laron, tell us. Uh, let's see your favorite subject and this pertinent question right now. What are you thinking about becoming? as when you go out of college and as a career. Do you have some thought about that? Tell us your favorite subject first. My favorite subject is math. Wow. I'm impressed with that. Most kids lean the other way. That is so good, Laron. That's wonderful. Who, who's your math teacher? Miss Haley. Okay. Our, my favorite teacher is Mr. Buford. Okay, very good. Mr. Buford, great. He's about a six foot three inch teacher, sir. Yeah, wow. Yeah, and I don't think they play in that room. I don't believe they play in that room. <laughs> Not that 30 seconds, okay. And now for the primary question. That was my trumpet, Pastor. Oh, I hire yeah. out. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what, uh, what are you thinking of doing as when you get older, buddy? Be a major league baseball. Oh, you're for baseball. Okay. Now let's suppose you break a finger and that doesn't happen. What else do you think you might want to be? Not I, I missed that pastor. Okay. I haven't thought of that. that. Okay, all right. Well, you think about that. We'll get you on when Tiana comes back from her <coughs> koala bear vacation and she comes on. Maybe we could have you come on too and you do a little thinking about what you might want to do. And of course, you don't Two have minutes. to stick to it, but maybe we could have you think about what you might like to become. Well, Pastor, I tell you what, why don't you give us about a one minute prayer? And because we've got two minutes left. Is that about right, Candace? Mm -hmm. And then give us a nice close, whatever you'd like to, a prayer, a prayer or remarks or such, and then give me about a minute to act a fool here. Okay? Not a problem. <laughs> if that comes easy for me. Martin, we just want to thank you for all that you do in the community and, and all that International is doing for our children. Uh, we really appreciate what is being done to help educate and enlighten and inspire our children to become more than what they see. Very good. Oh, Pastor, that's, boy, that's the core of the issue right there. Thank you so very much. And with those remarks, you offer a great prayer to us in closing. And give me a few seconds to be silly here. All right. Let us pray. Yes. Gracious Lord, Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for all the things that have been said and done in your name. Lord, we just give you all the honor. And Lord, we ask you to touch every heart that is hearing this voice. Lord, inspire them that they can do more. And Lord, allow them the opportunity, Lord, to see through life through your eyes. Mm -hmm. Let them see the goodness in the city of Flint. Mm -hmm. And Lord, let them reclaim all those things that have been taken from them. God, we ask you to reclaim our children. God, we ask you to reclaim our communities. And God, we ask you to reclaim every good thing in Genesee County. Lord, this we ask in Jesus' holy and righteous name. Amen. Amen. Candace, so I got time? 30 seconds. Yeah, I got 30 seconds. I got to put on my glasses because I can't see Rose anymore. Okay, there they are. Everybody, if you are, and we always close this way, if you are walking your dog, or are you sitting at a computer looking at a bog, or are you just walking around the city in a fog? If or are you wildly <coughs> wagging while whooping with a whirlwind of whiffle wumps waging a wasteful war with weasels who are wallowing in the wake of waiting wallabies wearing woolly weapons within the woods of weeping willows wrecked by woefully wealthy, wind-worn, reckled weather women wiggling through wigwam windows wanting warranties for wishy-washy whippoorwills in Waukesha, Wimbledon, or Walla Walla then look at somebody and say, Ooh, woo!